Good morning. Let's get your saint makeup set up so we can get you rocking and rolling. You'll have your little tins and you just push up and kind of slide and they just slide out and then you'll pop them into your tin. They're magnetic so you can pop them in and out. I do recommend that you save the lids. You can use them to pop them up. All right, so let's get started. I have got your palette put together and I have them put in from light to darkest. So this is the way, or like ease of use also. Um, so this is your brightening highlight and that is goddess. And then this is your main highlight, which is icon. This is your contour, which is mirage. This is sandstone, which is a lip and cheek. This is ruby, that is a lip and cheek. This is the Bella Bronzer, the Vanilla Dusting Powder, and then the Rose Gold Illuminator. And then you also have the Buff Brush. There's a smaller end and a bigger end. And you have the Blush and Bronzer Brush. They're both fluffy ends. One's a little smaller and one's a little bigger. Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna start with a clean, dry face. And I start with a toner and um, you can use rose water, you can use our toner, you can use any toner you have, but over time it helps uh, make your pores smaller, kind of gives you a more even skin tone. It'll help with sunburn, acne, blemishes, all kinds of stuff. It's just a really great skincare regimen to get in. I also put on a moisturizer with SPF. I've been using the CeraVe. So I'm just gonna put some pumps on my hand and put it all over my face. When you use SPF, it can sometimes tend to be a little um, greasy. That's just kind of the properties of the SPF. So I always recommend a primer. Um, and we recommend about 15 minutes in between putting your primer on and putting your makeup on. I don't usually have that kind of time. So I've been kind of double priming to kind of bypass the waiting. So I added this Tula primer. You can get it at Ulta. I bought it off Amazon just so it would come straight to me. Another real good one is um, the Wet n Wild primer. And you can get that at Target or just about anywhere. And that's a really good one to use. But that uh, primer kind of helps put a barrier between the SPF and your makeup. And it'll help your makeup stay on. It'll keep it in place all day. Any primer you use, what if it's not one of those, just make sure that it does not have silicone in it. If it does have silicone in it, this makeup will just slide off. The cream makeup doesn't like to stick to silicone. So just be kind of aware of your ingredients. Second kind of primer I do is our setting spray that's a two-in-one. Um, so I'm just gonna squirt and I'm just gonna give it a second to kinda, to kinda set. All right, grab your palette. I'm going to use the colors I use, and then we'll just have you insert the colors you use. And we're just gonna kind of pat that brush in there. I'm taking the small end of the brush, not dragging, just kind of patting. Start in the inner corner, and we're just gonna kind of do a check. And then we'll do a check. And then we're gonna kind of do like a tulip shape. And we're gonna come down your nose. We're gonna do a straight line down, okay? And then we're actually gonna kinda of connect it, okay? So you kinda of have a mask. All that concentration is right there in, your, in the middle of your face. I'm gonna take what's left on my brush and just kinda of dab it on to my eyelids. So next, we're gonna go in with your main shade, okay? My main shade I'm using is Candlelit. Your main shade is Icon. So we're gonna dab our brush into that main shade and we're gonna do another little check. So we're gonna go next to that brightener and we're gonna check up our face. Next to that brightener and check up our face. Do it on either sides of our chin. We're just gonna do a little bit on our forehead. We're not layering uh, colors on top of any, anybody. We're just doing them side by side. I'm gonna do it down my nose because we want everything to be in one layer, okay? I'm gonna dab what's left on my eyelids. 
And then I'm also gonna pull what's left down my neck. So next is gonna be our contour color. I'm using Henna. Your contour color is Mirage. So we're gonna take our brush. You're gonna find your cheekbone and you're just gonna come about halfway down. You kinda wanna stop like at the corner of your eye, okay? All right, go along our hairline. And then we're also gonna go on our jawline. And we're gonna take what's left, same thing, and just pull it down our neck. I'm gonna switch over to the bigger end of the buff brush, and I'm gonna start blending together. So instead of doing circular motions, I'm just gonna kinda pat it in. You're literally kinda like patting it into your skin. So I kinda start in the middle of my face and work out. So I'm just gonna kind of pat it in. It is cream, so it's gonna move a little bit how you want it. And I always kind of pat it up and out, up and out, up and out. So it gives the illusion that everything's pulled up versus pulled down. You don't wanna ever pull any looks down. Less is more. These tins should last you about six months. So if you notice that you're getting to the bottom of your tins too quickly, it's just a sign that you're probably using a little bit too much. So just kind of be a little um, lighter handed. And it just, it just takes a little bit of time to get used to how much you need. But I do say start with less and then you can always go back and add more, okay, if you need it. Be real gentle with that skin under your eyes. And next, we're gonna go with our lip and cheek. And I'm going to use Nude. You're going to use Sandstone. So I'm going to take my finger and I am just going to pat it on my cheek. And I'm going to take a little bit of that and put it on my lips also. I usually end up combining colors on my lips. Um, that's usually kind of why I recommend two lip colors. One is kind of a matte and then I usually put a glossy on top. So I'm gonna take that fluffy end of our buff brush again, the bigger end, and I'm just gonna kinda pat that blush color in. And if it's too bright or too dark, you just kinda pat it until it gets the consistency you want. Next is the glossy lip that I have. I have um, Royal, and I am just gonna apply it on top of my nude. We're gonna take Bella Bronzer, and I will use the Blush and Bronzer brush. You can technically use any of the brushes for any kind of application. I like the buff brush because it gives a fuller coverage. The Blush and Bronzer brush is gonna give a um, lighter coverage, but I do like to use it for the um, Bella Bronzer. I prefer more of a full coverage. That's why I use the buff brush the first in the first part, but you can use them any way you want to, and you just kind of trial and error and see what works best for you. So I'm gonna take the smaller end and kind of dab it into the Bella Bronzer. And technically you're kind of making an E or a C, whichever way you're looking at me. So we're just gonna kind of dab it on. And it's right there at the base of that blush, kind of where you wanna stop. Dab it around. And this is just gonna kind of give you that summer glow, kind of warm you up a little bit, okay? And if you're ever in between colors, it's a good, um, product just to kind of get you when you're, you know, a little bit darker than the color you have and you're just not ready to like go up a shade yet. So next we're going to go in with the illuminator. Yours is rose gold. I'm going to use my ring finger again and I'm just going to do it right there at the top of my cheeks. And if you had a full complete eyeshadow look on, I always put it in the like outer corner of my eye, underneath my brow. And you can do it on your cupid's bow. You can bring it down your nose. You can literally put it anywhere you want. It's not something you can immediately see, but you can see the sun coming in my window. When it hits that part, it disperses the light and just gives it a really pretty glow. The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take I like to use the blush and bronzer brush just because I can get so much more uh, area of my face covered. 
I'm gonna take it into that vanilla dust setting powder. And I am just, I'm kind of squeezing them together just so I can get the vanilla dust all over the, the brush head. And I'm just gonna kind of swirl it around. I am gonna use my buff brush to get it, pat it onto you. that under part of my eye, just to make sure we've got that good and covered. It's gonna keep it from creasing and caking and anything like that. And that is it, my friend. You have done a complete face, and if you have any questions, let me know. I am more than happy to help you, and I'm so excited for you to jump into the world of Saint.